Hey, what's up you guys? It's your girl Q. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, hello and welcome. Do me a favor, hit that subscriber button, like button, comment, share it, notification bell, all of that good stuff. And we're going to hop right into today's video. So, from the title, you can see that I'm going to be reviewing a uh, Cardi B shoe that she has released with Reebok. And um, before I do that, I have a lot of things I need to get off my chest because it's it's really bothering me. But for those of you that don't know Cardi B, she's a regular regular girl from the Bronx. I'm just a regular regular schmegular girl from the Bronx. What's up? Hi. And you know she she had it hard growing up, and she was known as a stripper. She was on Love and Hip Hop, and now she's huge. She has a big rap career, and you know she's she has a Grammy, all these awards. You know, good stuff, good stuff, and. Now apparently, you know, she has a sneaker with Reebok. So initially when I first saw the shoe, I thought the shoe was dope. So for me, it was a no-brainer to cop the shoe, right? So I did that. And I, I guess because I know she's very popular, I expected a lot of positive reviews from the shoe. And I was surprised because... A majority was so negative I I couldn't believe it so much negativity was was being thrown at her and we're gonna talk about that right now so after the sneaker dropped which the sneaker sold out in 18 hours by the way you know I went on like her page I went on the um, the Reebok page and you know I'm just looking through the comments or whatever seeing how people feel about the shoe and I just see nothing, nothing but bashing. You had your people that said that they liked it or whatever, but majority was literally bashing this woman. It went from her not being a good role model to I'm not, I'm not supporting Reebok anymore and she's trashy and she's a skank, she's this, she's that. And I'm just like, huh? If you don't like the shoe, just say that, right? Coming on here, bashing this woman for what exactly? Because you don't like her? I'm not going to hold you. Like, it it really, really took me back. And I'm going to, as you can see, the comments here, this is just some of the things that I've seen while, while reading. And I just think it's, uh, I, it's, it's, it's just, it's surprising she's she's so popular and a lot of people love her especially because she's known for being outspoken she's known for you know not changing the way she is just because she you know is famous now or whatever the case is and it's just it's just disgusting the comments that I've seen and we, we got to do better. Like I said, if you don't like the shoe, that's fine. Not everyone is going to like, you know, things that come out. That's completely fine. But it's kind of like, what does that have to do with the shoe? So that's one thing. Now we're going to get to number two. So another thing that that really struck me as um, interesting was that, you know, after I seen what was on the Reebok page or whatever, you know, I'm scrolling on my regular Instagram feed and um, there were some comments floating around from women who are sneaker enthusiasts on Instagram. Now, the comments were basically going towards they feel like um, Reebok could have chose, you know, someone else to do a collab with. And trust me when I say I totally understand the frustration that you know brands are out here choosing these celebrities over people that has been in the community for as long as you know years or whatever the case is totally get it but at the same time understand that brands use celebrities because that gives them more revenue and the thing about Cardi which people don't really realize is that her fan base is crazy she connects with all different type of people like i said people love her because she is raw and un and un 
unapologetic lord jesus so for me the sneaker isn't even geared towards sneakerheads it's not like a jordan one it's not like an air max those are things that you know they kind of push towards us the whole point of this was basically her way of you know giving thanks to her fans for all their support and this is her way of saying like this is a piece of me to you and i don't know about y'all but i am here for all of it i love it and you know i think we as women we say all the time you know um we need more respect in the sneaker community the women that have been out here you know doing their things doing their thing for us like for the past couple years like representing us you know they need more recognition totally agree however when it comes to these brands whether it's cardi b whether it's Rihanna taylor whether it's olivia kim whether it's rihanna whoever it is i think we need to embrace each other right because we just now starting to really you know make make noise in this community you know what i'm saying like like people look at us and they they kind of take us women sneakerheads as a joke like they take us as a joke and like I said, whether it is whether the person is a sneakerhead or not, like at least this is basically making opportunities because again, a lot of women don't get those type of those type of collabs. So I think we definitely need to embrace each other and um that that's what needs to happen. And again, you don't have to like the shoe. It's fine. Everyone has their opinion, but when you start bringing up you know how someone is or you don't like their music or you know she's not a role model she's not this she's not a sneakerhead all of this stuff is kind of just like what does that have to do with the shoe it's either you like it or you don't don't use that as your reasoning for not liking the shoe it doesn't really make sense so yeah so again like for me the shoe isn't your typical sneaker um here's the box <laughs> the shoe isn't your typical sneaker um in my opinion i i see it as more as like you know you go into brunch you go into a little lounge you know you know calm settings or whatever i think they're cute i think it's a, it's a different look and you know another thing is that Cardi is the face of Balenciaga now, because I don't know if y'all remember when she she said, and um, I like it like that. The song she was like, I like those, I like those Balenciagas, the ones that look like socks. Her saying that in general, their sales went up, their sales went up, and I think that's pretty dope. And I think you know, she she probably is probably gonna do a Balenciaga shoe sneaker or whatever. But one thing I really really love and and this is probably like my favorite thing about this whole thing is that from an article i read she she was heavily involved in the shoe by the way um but she specifically said that affordability is her number one thing she even went into a little story about you know uh, Reebok will come out with these neon colors and you know her mom wasn't able to afford it and her mom had a pair of Reeboks that she wore for three years straight so her thing is and if you know Cardi you know she loves a bargain she loves sales she loves all of that so this shoe retails for a hundred dollars and she she was so specific in we need to do this for my fans i'm gonna give them a piece of me and i'm gonna let them know that they don't have to spend seven eight hundred dollars on a high fashion shoe here take this could you beat that i think that's wonderful and like fashion nova nobody really knew who fashion nova was cardi really put them on fashion nova was like you know another shop where um, a, a website where you know they had clothes for the low and it was nice nice clothes so I, I think it's I think it's definitely dope that she made that like her number one priority so you have the club C that retails for a hundred dollars and then you have the double club C that retails 
fall between 80 and 85. And then you have the kids, uh, toddlers, which would be around here somewhere. And yeah, they also have apparel too. Um, so let's get right into the reason why you all are here. Let's get right into this review. <laughs> Finally! So yes, this is the Cardi B Club C uh, Reebok. Uh, the box reads Club C Cardi Women. Keep in mind, this is a women's shoe, so do not forget to get your size in women's. The color code is chalk, gold, and black. And this is just an overall view of the shoe. It's not really much to say about the shoe, to be honest with you. It's pretty uh, straightforward for the most part. So you have your outsole that comes actually into your midsole that is rubber and translucent. So it's definitely like a little platform vibe. The whole upper is patent leather. Whole upper, patent leather. And you have your little bit of new buck around here and you have like your back one thing i do like about the shoe is the tongue i like this little pull tag thingy i think that's pretty cool um the inside reads cardi b you have your black laces your black flat laces but they also give you a chalk pair but i think uh it looks better with uh the black laces and um, another thing I like about the shoe is that right here is, you know, it's a little see-through or whatever. So I think that's pretty cute. And yeah, that's, that's, that's basically it. It's nothing really too crazy, you know, about the shoe. So yes, that is what we are working with. So that is my rant slash review of the Cardi B Club C shoe. Uh, let me know what you think, guys. Do you like the shoe? Do you like the design of the shoe? What do you think about um, celebrities, specifically women, doing these uh, collabs with these brands? Let's chat in the comments. And for those of you that are conflicted with buying the shoe because you may not know like how to style it or whatever, I whipped up a couple of fits that I would personally wear with the shoe. So stay tuned to the end of the video and thank you so much for watching. No, I like dollars, I like diamonds, I like stunning, I like shining, I like million dollar deals. Where's my pen? Bitch, I'm signing. I like those Balenciaga, the ones that look like socks. I can't believe they wanna see me lose that bad. They talking junk and they stink these hoes, mad trash. I'm giggling, can let the devil have the last laugh. Ain't no more beefing, I'm just keeping to myself. I'm my own competition, I'm competing with myself. I told you. Give me a little son to remember. Try to make love in the sprinter. Quit you drop a nigga like Kimber. Go. Looking like a right swipe on Tinder. Shit on these hoes. Let up my wrist on these hoes. Now I look down on these bitches. I do it like a monster on these hoes. Fuck your baby daddy. His widow is a black, just in black. My heart break, goes to crack. I be chillin', watching oxygen. My favorite show is snap. Big shit, I'm certified real street bitch Won't be a song if I leak shit We strapped up like beef is Whatever you do, sis, keep it cute, sis Leave that beef and shit a root, Chris I end up toothless I've been a bitch